after the next war. <laughs> exactly. So we're now on episode three now, guys. Oh. So hello again, folks. I do hope you're enjoying this. I know nothing too extreme is happening. In fact, guys, should we move up to speed four? Yeah, it might be coming handy. Yeah, yeah. That's a good idea. You guys should tell me to do this sort of thing. <laughs> oh, Chaktaya has went to war with the Uzbeks. Okay, let's go to war with Chaktaya then. I don't know why I'm calling them Chaktaya now, but I like that, so... <laughs> no problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't think we can uh, yeah. tell you good pronunciation. <laughs> yeah, let's pretend that. In fact, no, 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 let's go to war with the Uzbeks, because nobody will help them. Even better. <laughs> you don't have the truth with them? Oh, I probably do, actually, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God damn it! for another two years. I don't want to attack Jagtaya whilst Malwa is with them. Let's just check out Malwa, let's see the situation we're in. Malwa... Hmm. I mean, it's not amazing. Just nobody would help me, that's the problem. Oh, my bastard don't like me too. <laughs> because I have a lot uh, you want. And because of the aggressive expansion. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what I'll probably do is just fabricate a claim on Uzbek because they'll be easier to take because everybody hates them so <laughs> I mean I don't hate Uzbek but you know I'll go away uh, and again eat uh, hmm. the week <laughs> okay <Like you. laughs> so speed 4 seems to be working for us all which is nice yeah we can wait faster that's good cool. yeah yeah definitely <laughs> Oh, I'm winning money. Oh, nice. Hey. Uh, 0 0.03, but that's good. <laughs> I can afford the one advisor. Yeah, I've got one advisor. Oh, I've got two advisors, actually. Oops. Oh. That's why I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so where is she? <laughs> no, not at all. I've got like 18 gold. Ducats. Oh. The reconstruction of Cusco is completed. Nice. It gave me uh, 0 0.5 prestige uh, per year, and same for the team I see uh, till the end of the game. Nice. That's pretty good. Now, if you guys could somehow just like me by three more percent, I could take <laughs> you. In fact, give me one second, guys. I just want to see something. Grant. In fact, let me do a save as well. I do get the occasional crash, so yeah. let's save that. I'm just checking something and I'm going to ask for your assistance here. So Mongolia, if I grant them a province, say... Oh, you are just, if you want to just reduce uh, their uh, liberty uh, desire, yeah. you can just upgrade their land. Really? Yeah. Like, invest some points in them? Yes. Oh, now you tell me that, don't you? I think it worked for the colonai. But I don't know if it worked for the vassal, so... Oh, just oh god damn it, it does, yeah. It does, yes. Nice. God damn you. <laughs> I, I forget something. <laughs> okay, improve relation. I was about to go to war there. Oh, now they want to marry, marry me and everything. Ah, you see? Oh, nice. Okay, Mongolia, you're going to be mine. My little amigo. Shigink. Yep, natives oh. not assisting. What natives? Okay, can we annex? We can indeed. Boom. Hey! We're now annexing Mongolia. Trunko, I think you <laughs> deliberately hid that from me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I just remember because no, I have a vassal, so. I you you know, people are going to go mad at me in the comments because, I, because we're recording these a little bit ahead, folks. Um, I might not have picked up on that. I'm sure one of you might have told me that already. So. Oh, dear. 
it's for more uh, interaction with the viewers. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I didn't say it in purpose, of course. <laughs> How you doing, Winston? Any wars? Looking to attack Kilwa or maybe Moravi, um, <sighs> but need some help with uh, of one of my allies. I mean, I'd love to help you, but you know. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting. Who's going to see each other first? I think you're going to see you each other first, and <laughs> maybe me in like uh, 100 years. Yeah. I think I'm. Oh, the nation of Kazan. Um. Yeah, sure. We're at war with the Uzbeks. Why not? Oh, no, I'm just red in the technology map. I'm not <laughs> red, black, just red. <laughs> well done. You're making mints. What uh, idea group do you think I should go for, by the way? Do you think I should go for quantity or something like that? I really don't know. I never played uh, all the... What do you think, Winston? Good. I'm thinking it has to be military, right? Or maybe economic. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I usually go economic first. Because, well, the extra money is always... Very true. Maybe uh, mm. military later on. Okay. No, you, if you go economic first, it's when you want to reform. But if you're near Ming, you need to be a horde to take it down. So, like, you reform if you play like something like Kazan, uh, Uzbek, or uh, uh, no guy. But if you are just, uh, just uh, uh, near Ming, you need to so do you think are you suggesting I go for something military then yeah <laughs> okay. just military and get bigger and bigger oh why if I put that speed down sorry okay I'm going at war again yeah who are you fighting this time yes and Kilwa, so... Oh, Kilwa's a... It's a biggie. They're both uh, quite big, but... Um... Well, that was a boring war, that. Oh my god! I got 32 favours and I got 3 provinces for that war. That's, oh, a, nice. that's quite a lot, man. That's, <laughs> I didn't do an awful lot in that war. A good ally for ah, me. Yeah. Oh, Ming now needs 6 from me. God damn you, Ming. Let's not get that admin tech quite yet. Oh, and Mongolia actually tried to help me. Thank you. Know that he loves you. Yeah. <laughs> you want to help. <laughs> okay, I'm now annexing my other vassal as well. Probably means I'm taking a zero uh, diplotech a month, but that's fine. Zero diplo points, you know what I mean. Now, you guys have got me thinking economic or military. Hmm. Can we uh, put the speed down a little bit? Yeah, I of course. So. I think no. I might go for quant. <sighs> if I yeah, if I went for quality, I would have thirty percent cavalry combat ability. Hmm. Then go just... for arist aristocratic. Ah, of course, yeah. Cavalry cost, military technology cost. Well, uh, aristocratic, aristocratic is more than for powerful nation than yeah. You know. Than me, how do for, you? For quantity. <laughs> <laughs> Quantity you have the, uh, the ship uh, upgrade, so you don't need it. I don't know. What would you suggest? Uh, exploration and you can <laughs> I'm not going for exploration. <laughs> Quantity, oh. quality, aristocratic. Go on, you can choose for me, Trunko. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. You don't want to take the responsibility, right? No, no, no responsibilities. <laughs> Okay, uh, then go for quantity, your first. Uh... So, quantity, yeah? 
Yeah. Okay. We wanted to choose that from the beginning. So. I was probably going to go for quality, I'll be honest. But <laughs> 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 I just always talk about that first. Okay, make core. Man, I am annexing two nations at the same time. It's quite exciting. Oh, you annex your two of us? Okay. Yeah. Why not? <laughs> What's my development now? So I'm now at 255 development. It's pretty good. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I'm at 199, but my vassals make me up. Oh, I just understand that my authority of my religious reform uh, changed by... Uh, oh, it's from my development. Ah, okay. more I have development, more I can be... Uh, I can do reform in my religion. Cool. So I think my religion asked me to just kill everyone and take their land. <laughs> That's a good religion. Oh, yeah, it's <laughs> really. not bad. I'm not really sure how the fetishist religion works with Winston's. I don't really know how. No, it's when you're uh, bordering a nation who have a fetishist uh, mm -hmm. uh, speciality. <laughs> you can take it from them. Or something like that. Okay. I never played to. Uh, I was always uh, like Mali. Uh, oh, okay. Or just unit religions. They don't care. Okay, I'm getting my ass kicked again. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Is it kill wise? It. It's kill wise way ahead of me on military tech by like, twice as much. No, that's not good, man. It's not much of the way a war's going over, over over here. Well, actually, it looks like Ming's expanded south, uh, but I can't quite see their south. Mm -hmm. uh, I've expanded. Uzbek almost don't exist. Uh, Kazan has got a bit bigger. They're my eyes. Muscovy looks stronger. Um, the Ottomans have taken Constantinople. Oh, you can see uh, Zotomans. Yeah, that's about... I can see Venice, but I can't see anything around Venice. And I can see Genoa, the two trade nodes. Um, but I can see all of... Mm, well, I can't see Albania, but I kind of can, if that makes sense. Um, that's as far as I can see. And I can see all of India and the Arabian Peninsula. Hmm. And not uh, East Africa. No, I can see the Mamluks. And I can see... Like the very tip of Africa, but it's actually still terra incognita. Hmm. Yeah, not bad. I made peace with uh, Kilwa, lost one province, but I'm still at war with Moravi, so I'm trying to take some provinces from them. Ah, that's not bad. Let me know when we can put the speed back up. It's it's completely fine not to, but just let me know when we can. Okay? Me. I don't have any uh, pop-ups at the moment. Sorry, you cracked up a little bit there. Back up for me. Ichima. What is Ichima? Oh, it's the guys I want to... Oh, nice. There is a guy at the south. <laughs> well, I... Exactly which one I want to attack. So I just have to keep attacking the one at the south. <laughs> so I can attack anyone since taking big alliance against me. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> that seems good. I'd really like to see one of you guys though. That's... Oh, the Timurids are getting eaten by their vassals. Should do anything down over. <laughs> 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 So I'm going to have to look for some new allies soon. Nobody nobody really likes me. <laughs> uh, oh, Yeren, don't mind me, Yeren. And because I'll be invading Janzhou and Haixi, that's probably a good call, actually. As soon as I vassalize uh, annex somebody. Do you have some ally in uh, the India? Or not? No, I'm allied with Kazan and Buryati. I was allied with Karadel as well. Uh, Kazan? Uh, yep. Oh, but you will be at war with Muscovia, so... Yeah, i kind of planning on that, but I'm hoping it wor works for me rather than works against me. 
We'll see. Okay, like you are, you plan to uh, abandon your potentially, potentially. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to advance east now, so I'm already pretty far west. I've made it to the Kazan border now. Um, I'm about to annex Mongolia, and then I'll mop up the list of Korchin and Hyaxi, and I'll probably make it to the east coast in hopefully 40 years. Hmm. I'm not sure how long yeah. Ming will put up with me, but I can see Ming have about 100,000 men on their <laughs> right now, so they can do whatever they want. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, a new working with a rule now. Nice. Then it's war time. Let's go. Shark yep. How's that war going, Winston? Um, I'm at plus 23%, so it's going pretty good. Sounds very good, yeah. He's got control of my capital and another fort, but, um, in my control, so that's kind of good. Yeah, it's not bad. I've got feudalism in a couple of provinces now, but it's a long, long way before I'm there. Oh, it's mountain. Oh. Yes, I quite them. Actually, I'm quite surprised that it worked for me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're both doing okay, to be honest. So. Yeah, I tried uh, two or three times to play as Cusco, and every time you just get killed by. My neighbor, or oh, there are too many alliances and I can't move, but. Yeah. But no. That's no. good. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Ming feels Oirat are highly trustworthy. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So you should, lads. So you should. Okay, we're about to annex you, I think. Uh, did you make your peace deal with Stan? Oh, not yet. Okay. Still uh, struggling against uh, the poor of Africa. <laughs> Okay, Caradel is mine. Fantastic. Make sure I can uh, hold enough of these soldiers. In fact, let's just dismiss them just now. So, guys, what are your what's your development? This isn't like a showing off thing, I'm just for YouTube purposes. Uh, 59. 59? Winston? Um, give me one second. Yeah, no worries. You are fighting a war, to be fair. So. Yeah. Hmm. Sure, where I can find it, so. Uh, economic, if you go to the economy. Uh. <laughs> Down next to your inflation. Yeah. I have uh, only 2% because I already uh, get it done twice. <laughs> but I don't want so much with gold. I like only uh, 0 0.5. That's not a lot. Don't know why. That's... Hmm. Maybe because I'm... I'm an American uh, country, so... Yeah, maybe. What's your uh, maximum manpower, Trunko? Uh... 20... no. <laughs> no, no. Uh, 12, uh, 8... oh, 14. 14. 14. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Where's the trade going here? Five. Actually, I have no problem with the manpower at all. <laughs> Every time, even at war, it's still at the maximum. So. I'll be honest, um, you know, I can now get 50,000 manpower, but I d it seems to recover quick. I think there might be... I think there is something in the horde factions. I don't know, maybe I'm talking rubbish, but it does feel like it's quick. Maybe are we... No, we are not in easy. <laughs> no, we're not. Just checked. Never know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gain of corruption. My annexion seems to have a. Uh... Ah, okay, okay. There you go. So your annexion actually stops if their liberty desire goes above fifty percent again. Yeah. I did not know that. So you need to use your prestige or yeah. more points. Put myself a minus three prestige again. Power projection sixty nine. That's okay. Thirty thousand men in the field. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. The problem is that sounds okay, but there's so many other big guys there that. <laughs> okay, I won the war finally. Hey. Oh. Sorry. Got me six boxes. Nice, so nice. you lose one and get six. But yes. Good, I think. <laughs> Are you expanding in uh, your territory or along the coast? The coastline, so I can't get there yet because they're. Oh, okay. I hate you, Ming. <laughs> they're taking seven away now. Okay, I'm gonna go to war with Chaktaya again because they're losing a war. Um, the Malwa will come, but no guy won't. I think that'll be okay. I need to raise some war taxes because I'm going under. Split that in half. You can come there. Mushka. Mushka. Yeah. A tribute with uh, one province away from a uh, group of the uh, Inca. <laughs> <laughs> Must be really bored to play it. <laughs> and since it's two provinces, it can't immigrate, so. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> it just have to wait <laughs> until you die. <laughs> I'm playing a Huron campaign on my YouTube channel. Um, with the extended Viewer. timeline mod, yeah. and I've played for five five hundred and eighty years now, <laughs> and I still I mean I'm a huge country, but you know I'm not reformed. I have no institutions. It's, uh, it's horrible. Oh. So nothing happened. <laughs> really, nothing happened. I've had a few wars, but because I can field like ninety thousand men against like yeah. one province miners, it doesn't really <laughs> doesn't really feel like you're at war. Oh. <laughs> Well, you'd be able to unite America then. Well, that's the plan. It's kind of, I think I've called it like Make America Great to start with. Uh, <laughs> bit of a joke sort of thing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, I mean, I think I will, but the largest nation in the world for the first 400 years was Rome, which was quite cool actually, but uh, it was a bit mad. Well, in the extended uh, mod, you bit of... Uh... When you play Rome, well, if you don't uh, enact all the reform, you will just stay Rome and nothing happen. Yeah, true. But yeah. I don't know who would choose to play Rome. I, I think the best thing with Rome is to fight against them. Yeah. In my, in my opinion, anyway. But uh... And the, uh, the EA, EA of Rome is really bad. Like, you have one thing, it's gain one stability and uh, just give up half of your kingdom to make uh, Byzantium. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, no human will do that, but... Yeah, because you say, oh, it's still a good idea. What stability? Nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's die. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> oh, I almost lost a battle there. Amala ahead of me. 
Yeah, I like the. A lot of people hate the extended timeline mod, and there is bugs, but I really like it. So much I, effort. I like, uh, I like it for after uh, 18. Uh, yeah, 18, because there is no Victoria. Uh, Victoria is get too old, so. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah I, I never really liked Victoria anyway, to be honest. I don't know what it is. It just never. Crusader Kings is fantastic. Quite enjoy Hearts of Iron, but. Uh, I've never really rated Victoria. I I I never played it of my own, but when I go see family, uh, uncle, and everything, they're they the PC with it. Uh, no, really? <laughs> so yeah, when I was a little uh, a little younger, I was playing here. <laughs> so yeah. I never play uh, Chris Docking. I saw some Let's Play. So, but it's too. It costs too much with all the DLC. <laughs> yeah. It's the hardest one, I think, as well, out of the yes. bunch. Um, uh, it was like at minus uh, 50%, and you still have to pay 100 and something to get all the dead. <laughs> <laughs> so It's different as well. It's, it's almost more like a role-play game. Um, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I enjoy it, but I, I wouldn't make a series out of it on YouTube. I think Hearts of Iron is probably quite good for a series and Europa. Yeah, it's more like an arcade game, so... Yeah. That's good. Come so, on. And rivality with them? Yeah, that's cool. So I can fight my allies as well. <laughs> How you doing, Winston? Um... Doing pretty good. Nothing much to do at the moment. Yeah. Waiting. I'm gonna turn it up to speed four. I am in a war, so I might pause it again, but or okay. slow. Okay. I just finished my war, so do what you want. Mm. <laughs> oh, can I put Chimu? Yeah, Chimu, you know my rival. Uh, who are you alive with? Only me? Oh, <laughs> we die, man. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you will divide me now. It's so. You will attack me. Does my ally like me? Uh, One second, no. folks. <laughs> What's happening here? Okay. Just doing a piece. There is like 14 peasants in my neighbor country, but we won't go to the capital, so <laughs> they just stay here for like 10 years or no. <laughs> it's like anarchism. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I was just piecing out there, folks. Okay, gained another four provinces. Nice. You will be soon a uh, great country. I hope so. I would already be a great country if it wasn't for institutions. <laughs> so not doing too bad. I I think, guys, I'm getting really lucky though because so many things have just just worked for me, <laughs> and it probably shouldn't have. But you know, that's cool. Oh, I went to a temple and they say it's okay to kill my uh, neighbor and give me one stability. Nice. Amazing, amazing. Amazing rage. <laughs> uh, next time I play a custom nation, I will take it. <laughs> yeah, I might do that actually, because I've never used that religion. I don't really like the start and location that much for a game, so I'll... Uh... Yeah. That's why you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it changed. <laughs> yeah. You can always move your capital. <laughs> oh, by the way, can I have uh, cavalry? Oh, level 6 of the of uh, military tech, I will have cavalry. Hey. Nice. And when I will hit uh, 100 authority, I will have uh, one colonist. 
What are you doing, Ottomans? Mm, not too much. Oh, five at military. Oh, oh we are going to kick out all the country around us. That's pretty nice. But I'm still in three and three in admin and uh, diplomatic. Yeah, I'm starting to fall behind. My, well, definitely behind Ming and the Indian countries, not so much the other hordes, but uh, yeah. even Yark clans I'm, ahead of me now. I'm only uh, ahead of my neighbor country, but <laughs> I can't do anything else. So, we are gonna go to war against my friend here and these two guys. Okay. It's